Josh Green here. Delighted to be joined by Dieter Hedman. Dieter, thank you very much for for joining me. We fixed our audio issues, and and you're you're finally here. Um, it's been a an excellent few weeks for you. First experience of the PDC World Championship. Just tell me first of all how much you enjoyed being up on that stage. <laughs> oh my good God! Did you not see my face when I was well, coming I did out? Indeed, my walk yeah. out. <laughs> Oh, well, from the moment I qualified, I was in cloud nine for like about two weeks. Mm. And then obviously get back into work because work at that time is kind of manic anyway. Yeah. But once I got there and got through the COVID tests, because that was one of my biggest worries throughout, because obviously Royal Mail working all through the pandemic and having all the casuals and everything coming in. Of course, so you wear your mask and all the yeah. sanitizers that you have all in place and so forth. But at times when you're working in such a big environment, people tend to forget. And not knowing who's got it or who's not had it. So, yeah, once I got through the COVID test, then I was kind of so relieved. And I was beginning to really enjoy it and really looking forward to it. And, oh my good God. I mean, I've been there to watch a few tournaments, some of some games. I mean, been there like Rob Cross, Mikuru, um, Darius, and a few others. That, because I know most of the players anyway, even the ones from abroad, because I've traveled that far. Yeah. But for me being there, oh my God, I loved it. Mm. Absolutely loved it, just walking out there. And the weirdest thing was I was standing on the stage and I was just looking at the where I walked up. And I said to yeah. my Paul, I said, I was looking at it and I think, I could just roller skate down here. Because <laughs> it was such a big, long walkway, you know, because they've changed it, haven't they, this year yeah. because of... Yeah. But all around, I was just like, this is fantastic. It's such a buzz, mm. really such a buzz. So, so yeah, I just loved it. Yeah. Did you, did you um, ever think you'd, you'd get the opportunity to play in a PDC World Championship? No, I didn't. Simple reason because a few years ago, when I was really playing at the top of my game, and obviously since I returned um, 2008 stroke nine, I've been fortunate enough to be in the Ladies World Championship every year. Mm. And I remember the first time I qualified for the World Championship for the ladies. And I thought, God, I don't want to go through this again because it is tough. Anyone come through qualifiers, I'm telling you, it's hard work. So I decided, Paul and I, we would travel the world and get the points so that at the end of the year, you know, it's easy. And as you know, I've made the final three times, three times I was winning and three times my... I lost. <laughs> I was going to say something else. I'll talk about that, Dieter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. And so really in the last few years, because again, I'm 61. And I just think there's so many good players that are out there. Not that I still can't throw very good darts. Yes, I can. But with my work and working nights, I don't have the opportunity like most of the other players, which is, in fairness, that's how my career have been full-time job fitting in darts so for me it's no different so the last year or so my darts to me hasn't been up to scratch and as you know our Fallon did last well, last year 2019 she was phenomenal and you had Mikuru you had Lisa and Hannah and really when I went into the ladies series last year the informed player really was Fallon Lisa and young Bo Greaves mm -hmm. because she's been it, putting in some averages she's been yeah. really once she gets her head going she's just such a sweet girl doesn't worry about anything to be honest with you once everything all slots into place I think she will be so phenomenal but she's still growing because she's only 16 and no one knows, you know, what's going to happen in a few years. Now. So get back to me, you know, I'm qualifying, thinking that I would. No, I didn't. I just 
went in, as I said, to see if I could win a bit of money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that was my aim. I thought I didn't have anything in my head of qualifying just to get a bit of money because it was good prize money. I mean, four tournaments was a grand to win. And I thought, well, if I get into the, the business end of all of them, you mm -hmm. know, it's a good payday. Yeah. So really, that was what was in my head. But since the lockdown, what was it, March 24th, we were in Skegness up there for one of those tournaments in the camps. Mm. And when the lockdown came, we played the ladies' pairs and Bo and I won it. And that was the last darts we played because we didn't play singles or, or anything else. Because once they said lockdown, that was it. And so I hadn't thrown any darts at all until October when we had the challenge tour. Yeah, I know you went, yeah, went to challenge tour. Yeah, and my Paul said to me about doing it, and I said to him, well, I haven't played anything. I said, it's a waste, well, not wasting your money to, because I haven't thrown any darts. You know, I said, I'll take my chance in the ladies. But then a couple of weeks before he rang me up and said that he's found me a sponsor <laughs> for the challenge tour. So I said, okay. And he said to me, you haven't even asked me who it is. So I said, who is it? He said, it's me. <laughs> and I, thought, <laughs> I thought, okay, right. I said to him, I suppose I'd better pick my dart up and start practice, hadn't I? Because <laughs> basically I've been working flat out. Yeah. I really have, because I don't normally work Fridays. So I was doing Fridays as well. And so once he told me and I started practice that last week, I didn't go there on the Friday because I finished work Friday morning. So we traveled up Friday in the day. So on the Saturday, the first round, which was so winnable, mm -hmm. I lost that, I think it was 5-3, but I did miss starts. Yeah. And then the second game, I had a phenomenal run because I, I played Colin Osborne. Mm -hmm. I think I beat him 5-4. Then I had Cody Harris, I beat him. And then I had Kevin Painter, I beat him. Yeah. And in my head, I'm thinking, what the hell's going on here? And I really played some fantastic stuff. I mean, I was in the 90s, I was told. And I said to Paul, okay, it's just, because that is a funny old game. You can have a good run and then suddenly everything just fall apart. Yeah. And so I just said to him, well, if I take this into the ladies series, I should do all right, but I still wasn't looking up winning qualifying basically because i said fallon was at challenge tour as well and she was playing some unreal darts and again as you know lisa who's got her tour card of course. so yeah so for me i was just thinking okay i'll get to them mm -hmm. if i get to them because there was a good it wasn't what was it 80 odd ladies but yeah. it was three quarters of that was a class field Mm. because I know most of the ladies was a class field. Yes, you had the few who came in just to experience it. So, yeah, so after the first day and I was leading, I just said, what the hell is going on? <laughs> you know? Yeah. But then the, the first day when I won the second one, I couldn't sleep because I was just buzzing. You know, the excitement. And I had about two three hours sleep honestly because being a night worker as well of course I went back into the mode of coming home I mean at half past four I'm wide awake yeah. and I think we had a taxi book like half eight in the morning so you can just imagine how I was mm -hmm. so the the second day I was just I got to the semi-final on the third one yeah. and then the fourth one my Paul said to me, all three of you is winning, which is myself, Lisa and Fallon. You're all going to meet each other before the final. So he said, if you get through your board, you'll meet Fallon in the quarters. And then when I went on the board and I thought, Jesus, are they trying not to get, let me get through? Because in fairness, it was, I thought to myself, it was the toughest group I had all day. Because no young lady called Rianne Edwards mm -hmm. or Rianne O'Sullivan now, yeah, who plays for Wales and she's awesome, absolutely. She she's an underrated talent who's never really done the tour. 
Yeah. yeah. And then young lady, Denise Cassidy from Ireland, who is, she was throwing some phenomenal. And in fairness, um, when I played them, I was losing. <laughs> and I'm thinking, what are you doing? And then somehow I dug it out of the bag and then I got to Fallon in the quarterfinal and, and I lost to Fallon on that last one. And I honestly, I just sat down and I just said to my Paul, I went, I've just blown it. I said, but to be fair, I wasn't expecting to be in that position. So Ayo, I said to him, I got some money, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> and seriously, we sat there and then Graham Pierce and um, Peter Manley came over to me and said to me, you're qualified. And I just went, don't be winding me up. I said, because I won't be happy. And they went, we wouldn't do that. We wouldn't wind you up. They said, you've got through on two points or two legs. Two legs yeah. And I just literally had a towel in my hand and I just put my head in it and started crying. <laughs> the rest is history, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so that's that's yeah. Yeah, it, it really and, is an incredible story. Um, with yeah, with, for me, I think yeah. With, because, with, as I said, wasn't expecting it. So, so yeah. With the world itself, was mm -hmm. your job ever an issue that you didn't get time to to practice in the lead up or? having to try and get the time off for the world championship and things like that or no because i am that's why i said i'm very fortunate because um once i started playing again hmm. i am one of the lucky few in the male center that they they had a little games room that when you have your break yeah. you can go and sit they have a table tennis machine in there and we used to have like one of those Pac-Man, <laughs> which uh, I don't think they've got anymore if you remember them. But they have a table tennis and we have, I asked if I could have a dartboard put up once I started playing. Yeah. So my lunch, I would go in and play. So what we, what I did, a few of the other boys who likes to have a game of darts, we just clubbed in and we got a dartboard so everybody can play on it. Yeah. And basically that's what I've done all these years. In my lunch hour, I go on there for about 20 minutes, half hour, because my break is like 40 minutes. Yeah. So I have my lunch. I know it's a funny time where it's dinner really at one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And then now uh, once I finish, I just go on there and just have a practice for a half hour, turn my arm over. Hmm. And really, that's what I've really been doing since I started back playing, doing the tour. Uh, and I have a dartboard at home, yeah. but in fairness, normally I wake up, shower, downstairs, breakfast, and I'm out. And the weekends I was always away. So although I have a dartboard, I never really get the chance to play on it. But I've got some time now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure, you have. I'm sure you have. After what you've experienced this year, is there maybe even more of a buzz to, to get back to the standard you say you were playing three or four years ago and and compete and hopefully get that first win on on a pdc stage <laughs> good god you're forgetting i've got to be 62 by then no, <laughs> so, <do you> know. <laughs> yes i will be and my bones are getting a bit tired now <laughs> don't forget when you get old everything starts going north because i'm in the tap so i say everything goes north oh my god of course i've got the bars but as I said, I'm never under any illusion because the, what the PDC has done for the ladies, and to be fair, you had the BDO back then, England, Scotland, Wales, and all the countries that does the thing for the ladies. But the opportunity is two ladies, so it's so, so hard on the ladies, you know, which I, in fairness, if you said to me, should they increase? I don't think so. I think having two ladies just makes the, the tournament so exciting, especially mm -hmm. if the ladies win a game. It, it's big profile for the PDC. But again, there is so much that is sitting, waiting for like the ladies to do. And all the women who's watched the tournament or whatever, hopefully they're all putting in 
a lot of practice. Yeah. And obviously Fallon would have been wounded from not getting through because she was so close. So she's got the time to practice. And you have Lisa in my head. Lisa made the opportunity for the choice of whether the ladies are playing in the in the men's cool. one because she's got talk hard. I mean, I have my thoughts on that, but it's neither here nor there. But um, and okay, Bo Greaves didn't perform, but I would think she will be trying to put that right. You have young Katie Sheldon from Ireland, Eileen the Graf, and what we were also forgetting. With the COVID, you didn't have the likes of Mikuru. Mm. And there's a few other Japanese girls. Um, oh, yeah. There's a young one who beat me in the Winmar last year. Kasumi, I Kasumi. think. Kasumi Sato. Yeah. Sorry. Kasumi, yeah. You see, all those girls wasn't here. All, all the German girls. There's so many very good European ladies who wasn't in it. Yeah. So that might have made also made a difference. You know, so so hopefully when this COVID thing goes away, in my mind, I don't think it will ever go away. It'll always, always be there. But if we can get some kind of formality that people can travel, because that's one of the main issues, isn't it? Then I think you will see a difference in the ladies' game. Because... Okay where I travel, I can see the talent that are in Europe. You know, that would knock a lot of us out of the water on their day. Don't get me wrong. We can all play fantastic darts, but it's consistency. So that would be interesting to see. So yeah, it's, it's a crazy, crazy world we're living in anyway. So. Yeah.